Hey folks, this is Vineet from the urbanastronomer.com. As we know, Betelgeuse went through an unprecedented dimming towards the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. Betelgeuse's light curve has multiple periodic cycles, a well-defined 425 days one and one about roughly six years. This would lead to a minimum brightness in February 2020. However, the dimming seen was much more than what would be expected. This led to a lot of speculation in the media that Betelgeuse was about to go supernova. The star seems to have stopped dimming as of now and some researchers think that they have an answer to why the dimming occurred. One possibility is that Betelgeuse experienced large variations in the convective cells on its surface. Convection cells bring hot gas out of the star's interior and which then cools before falling back into the star. A variation in convective cells would lead to changes in the star's effective temperature as well. Scientists compared optical spectrometry readings taken in 2020 with readings that they had taken earlier in 2004 and found that the effective temperature of the star has more or less remained the same. There was no significant decrease in line with the dimming event and it was cooler only by about 50 to 100 degrees Celsius in the recent readings. Based on this, researchers ruled out convective turnover to be the root cause of the dimming. Another possible explanation is that it underwent a periodic mass loss event, that is shedding material that condensed around the star, obscuring the light. Based on their spectrometry measurements, the researchers have concluded that large grain grey dust due to the recent episodic mass loss from Betelgeuse seems to be the best explanation for its dimming. The time scale of dimming also agrees well with the existing research on mass loss and dust production in red supergiants. Being so large and close to us in stellar terms, allowing us to make even direct surface observations, we can be sure that Betelgeuse will be the subject of a lot more research dealing with stellar evolution and behavior. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.